Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Ransom is not here. <laughs> and that is why Cassie is giving the welcome back to the channel, guys. So but hopefully you enjoyed it. I apparently don't do it right because Gary, I threw him off a little bit. Yeah, I was confused for a second because Ransom always says, welcome back to the channel channel guys <laughs> like it's an announcement but welcome to walker farm thank you guys so much for stopping by before we get started i want to tell you this video is sponsored by ritual i'll tell you all about them in a second but first things first we're going to talk about all the things that are going to happen not only <laughs> this it, evening that rooster really wants to say welcome back to the channel guys. but tomorrow and i think that rooster right here he's right down here if you can't see him he's, he's right off the camera there he is right behind cassie that rooster is gone. See those Indian runner ducks over here in this pen behind me? They're gone. Where are they going, Cassie? <laughs> well, every year, or the last two or three years, the kids have showed chickens at our local Mace County Fair and the poultry show. Chickens, turkeys. Uh, this year, we're gonna show some ducks, but in order to do that in September, they have to be blood tested and registered now. <laughs> And, and he's super excited about he's, it. He's ready to hit the road. So we're going to be loading up the chickens. We're going to do that tomorrow morning, though. The kids aren't here because they are at Vacation Bible School. We're going to go pick them up soon. So we thought we'd get started and let you guys know what's going to go on tonight because in the morning, it's going to be crazy. Also, I wanted to bring you over to the garden and give you a little update there um, this evening before we get busy and going in the morning. So let's head over to the garden and we'll do a quick update. So we made it out to the garden. Cassie, you want to give them uh, your impressions before we show it to them? The garden looks like death. Yes, it has seen better days. So not funny. Uh, let me spin you guys around. And mainly because it's been over 100 degrees for like three weeks straight, sunflowers are gone. Um, all our spring crops were over here. They were already gone. I counted them out basically here over our corn. We picked it all and it is ready for some fall corn planting but until we get better temperatures forecasted i'm not going to plant anything all next week it's supposed to be over 100 degrees and then it's going to cool off again but we did get rain so we're thankful for rain um, we have a row of peppers that are still producing so we're thankful for that our squash is gone and our tomatoes i have been watering them just enough through our drought to keep them alive. So you can tell that the garden behind me has seen better days. We tried to grow as big a garden as possible to get as much nutrition as we can for all of our kids, for Cassie and myself. But whenever you get hit with the drought and Oklahoma heat, that's what your garden looks like. So in comes what I wanted to tell you guys about and that is Ritual. Ritual is a multivitamin and I actually have the one I take right here, Ritual uh, for Men, multivitamin. I've taken several of them, as you can see. So far, I really like So them. not only does Ritual have a multivitamin, but they also have a new product that we've been trying called a Symbiotic. So what makes the Symbiotic different? It's the components that make it clearly Ritual. They're science-backed, research-stacked, especially when stacked up against leading direct-to-consumer products on the market. Uh, being a prebiotic, it supports the growth and activity of beneficial bacteria. Pro probiotics are live microorganisms that include um, relief for bloating and gas and other things like that. The postbiotic actually provides fuel to the cells and makes up the gut lining and support gut barrier function. One of my favorite things about Ritual is the mint smell. It smells just like fresh mint. Um, it has one daily capsule that's essence with mint for simple streamlined gut support. It has a delayed release capsule designed to reach the colon and not the stomach, an ideal place for probiotics to survive and grow, and there's no refrigeration needed. One other thing I like is that Ritual is delivered monthly to my door with a monthly subscription. So, Symbiotic and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in gut game that's why Ritual is offering you guys 20% off your first month by using my code WALKER20. That's 20% off during your first month by going to ritual.com forward slash WALKER20 and using code WALKER20 at checkout. So if your garden is looking anything like mine, then you might want to consider Ritual, at least look into it, and right now you can get quite the deal. So I got to go pick up the kids from Bible school, but we'll meet up with you guys in the morning 
and deal with the chickens. So this is the next morning and we have been getting rain off and on for about an hour or two. So our plans have been delayed. We got a late start this morning to uh, get the chickens up, but the rain has finally let up. And just like anything else living on a farm, you always run into uh, little hiccups along the way. We have one of our Angus cows that has a foot that has grown wrong. So the, the, the hoof on it has actually grown up and out a little bit. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get her up and take her to the vet to get it trimmed. Uh, the vet has a special equipment that can uh, put her in the right chute, keep everybody safe and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna try to get her up. She's actually, she's actually walking in right there right now. So hopefully I'll get her up, no problems. And if she can get loaded into the trailer, I'll go and get her taken care of. So that's my next steps while we get the chickens loaded up and get them to get checked in and blood tested. So never a dull moment on the farm. I'm gonna finish feeding these girls and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, praise the Lord, I just got her up. Um, you guys can see, let's see here. See that front toe right there, that foot? How she's favoring it, holding it up. Only gonna get worse, not gonna get better, most likely anytime soon. So I'm gonna take her into the vet, see if we can get that fixed. Um, Hopefully they can uh, get her fixed up. That's it. All right, Cassie, what are you up to? Well, I'm getting the ducks so we can go get them blood tested for the fair. And here's where that, oh, you saw her sucker. She didn't even see it. Here's where the ducks have been setting, but look, it cooked out here in this heat. So. Is that, that's over easy, I think. Is that yeah. over easy? Zena, go ahead and eat it, I guess. Let me know what you guys think. Is that over easy or is that medium? But before y'all say, anything about why didn't you move them if you move them more than likely not are not going to set them over there but also she wasn't staying on them all the time she was going back and forth they've done this before so i was just letting it be they're animals they'll figure it out but it's 107 you got a cooked egg all right so cassie's gonna try to catch some yeah, indian runner ducks bring this closer. all right so cassie's gonna do her magic with her net i'm gonna be helping they're like herd animals yeah they stay together I might put the camera down if I need to grab one. Watch that corner, that corner though, because it is real. <laughs> Zena back. All right, so Zena does not like us catching her animals. All right, what do you see? So we lied. There's the big nest. That one was just a loner. Uh -huh. But I would say those are probably cooked also. Yeah, I, if I had to guess, there's no hope for those eggs. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get one more at, uh, out of here. This is be the last one out of this pen, right? Yep. All right, the goats are still eating out of their uh, little pen. The short ones get to get underneath there and eat, apparently. Zena, come. Zena, come. Come here, thank you. Zena, Zena, come, come. As you guys saw the first time, she was barely out of my reach. And some of you have said, hey, Cassie, extend that net. Well, guess what? As far as it goes. That's all she's got, but the Indian runner ducks are, are in there. So now we've got lots of other things to do. So we gotta move on. Hi, big girl. So real quick, as we're going in and out and here, there, and everywhere, uh, you guys see there's one puppy left. And she has been going in and working with Xena, uh, patrolling the animals, and then we bring her back in here. Just kind of doing a healthy balance since she's still a puppy. But you guys have had so many questions about this girl. So now's the time. This special puppy will be going to Brandon and Stephanie and their kids over at eddie family farm so they have named her they're super excited she will be at our farm for a little while longer but head over to brandon and stephanie over at eddie family farm and they will tell you what this beautiful girl's name is I know that getting chickens is hard because sometimes they like to get in trees but have you ever tried to catch a goat that gets in trees 
There's our goats that like to uh, get in the tree. I've never seen a goat get in a tree before. All right, Cassie, we caught how many under the trampoline? Three. Three chickens under the trampoline. And so... Uh, and these chickens are out because they refuse to get in a coop, and that's their own problem. Yeah. These chickens, they, they, they uh, stay on the ground at night. So I'm going to grab this, and we're going to head over there and get some more chickens. First quote coop was boring. It only had one chicken Cassie wanted. Yeah, and I grabbed her with my hands real quick. So let's see. How, those leash fighters were right by the door last night. You see any you want? Yeah, but they're moving away. Okay, do you want me to just... Dottie's up there. I need Dottie up there with my hand. Yeah. She walks away from me. You get her? Oh, let me grab the thing. Okay. So if some of you are wondering how these coops are working out in this pen back here, they are working out awesome. Another leash fighter? Yeah. <laughs> they have a pretty good uh, temperament, it seems like. For the name leech fighter, I'd expected more, or I expected worse. They have this awesome long legs. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Dottie with the attitude, always. Black copper moraine, you wanna get this one? Give me your other leg, girl. She knows where she's going. She's already got a band on her. This isn't her first rodeo. All right, that's it. Is that all of them? Yep. So, all the chickens are gathered. Cream leg bar, leech fighter, Moran, lavender, speckled sucks, and le leech fighter. All right. right. So we're going to load these up. Now we got to go get the cows, uh, get them pushed into the pen so I can load them up. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's a little hot. Gate open? Yeah, it's open. They just need to go in there. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Just keep pushing. Come on, babies. Yeah. Come over here with me if you hurt. Come on, baby. Come on. Hey. Dina, you are not a cow dog. All the gates closed. All the gates are closed. Success? Success. So we are going to, oh, high five. We're going to get all the chickens loaded up in that truck. I gotta get the trailer hooked up on my truck, the big Ford, and we're going to get cow to the vet, calves to the vet to get vaccinated and castrated. Lots of fun, isn't it? Yep. All right, cowboys are ready. You guys finished your breakfast? So we let them finish up their breakfast while Cassie and I went and in the rain a little bit and got the ducks and the chickens it was spitting rain on us so so this is a necessary thing they have to be blood tested because they when you go mix them with other chickens they have to ensure they're healthy and they don't have anything that's going to spread disease to the others so what do you think ransom good you ready to take them to the chicken uh place to get them checked yep after we get them the blood test are we going to show them uh, that's going to be a different day. Oh. So this is uh, almost August and the chicken show isn't until September, I believe. So they have to do this a ways out. All right. 
So we got backed up here. <clears throat> My main concern is getting her in the trailer. She doesn't have the best uh, movement on that front uh, foot that I showed you. So I'm hoping she'll be able to jump in there without any problems. Let's go, let's go. All right, I wanna put, I wanna put mama in the back of the trailer because she's gonna weigh a little bit less than all these calves combined. I want my heaviest weight up front. So let me see if I can get them separated the way I want them. Right over there. Cow over here. Watch out, mama. Watch out, mama. Watch out, mama. Zena, you gotta leave it, girl. Let's go, babies. You go over there. You go over there. I know it's hard to move. I want these babies away from you. Tell them. Tell them, Mama. Tell them, get back. Tell them. Tell them you don't belong here. Right. Come on, baby. Go in that corner. There you go. Go, 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 Easy peasy, lemon squeezy so far. That one looked like she wanted to kick. You better kick that gate and not me. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, come on, come on, find it. Find that hole, find that hole. Let's go. Hey, hey. Come on, get in there, babies. Let's go. Let's go one at a time. Come on. Now there's one. You're not interested in going in tight spaces, are you? All right. Not, a, not too bad at all. Up to the front, up to the front, up to the front, up to the front. We got a cow to get. Come on, baby, let's see if you can get in that trailer. I know, you don't want to walk on that foot. Come on. You guys could see she was holding that foot up completely. And I hate it, but this stuff happens. Also, never take for granted when a cow is injured that they can't get you. Because guess what? They can get you. When a cow gets like this, even if they're crippled, even if they're crippled, they're still a powerful animal. So in this pen, if I need to get back, I can get back here and she can't get me. But I'm gonna go ahead and drive her on in. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go, we gotta jump up in that trailer. It's gonna be tough, but you gotta do it. You gotta get that foot to the doctor. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Good job, baby. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Uh, if you guys think you want to get into homesteading or farming or whatever you want to call this, just know there's going to be days like this and there's going to be days that are a lot better. So we got chickens up in the rain. We got them all loaded up. The vet closes at noon and it's 10 15. So we've got a good amount of time to get over there, get the animals taken care of. I want to double check my trailer locked. This one's locked. 
we'll probably have some cows chasing us when we leave because i got their babies but they're not going to be gone uh very long they'll be right back in a gif so let's get these animals down the road a woman that knows what she's doing <laughs> let me show you right here a woman that can work a ratchet strap get them all tightened down got the chickens loaded up you ready is my back completely wet no it's starting to dry off <laughs> all right all right we'll go do chickens you go do cows you gonna video a little bit we'll meet you back later I'll okay try. all right cassie's gonna video a little bit i don't know how much i'll be able to video at the vet some of them frown upon that but we'll uh, definitely have an update for you either way huh <laughs> uh, we're not going over there baby Call him one, one stab Logan. One stab Logan. Yeah. Well, you didn't see the one stab bum. It's it. Don't see it too much. Don't get it down. Bring all them silkies. That's right. No. <laughs> so I'm driving through the field to take the big hens back to the coop. I already let out ducks and the other um, chickens. But what you guys just saw there was you um, have to take all your birds that you're going to show either to them to be blood tested or you have to have someone come out to your farm it's just easy to get them all take them all in um so they get under their wing they get a little bit of blood bumpy field they put it on there if it turns a certain color then you got a problem uh so they blood test everything make sure there's no diseases because when we come to the fair um, in September, all those birds are going to be in a barn together, so they got to make sure they're healthy and everything's good. Um, then, they, uh, I had to fill out a paper for each one of the kids. One reason I didn't get to video a whole lot is I had to fill out those papers, and then as they got the chickens and the ducks out, I had to tell them who belonged to who so they could be registered in the proper uh, kid's name. So, I did get to video a tad, but that's what they were doing. Blood testing them, make sure they're healthy um and then we'll bring them back in september so each kit you can sh show up to 10 uh 10 poultry items <laughs> um ducks chickens turkeys geese you know anything like that so each of our kids are showing four um and they need to be purebred because that's what they can go buy on the standard so a lot of the chickens i've hatched out are just like barnyard mix and they don't necessarily qualify you can probably take them but you're not going to win anything so i am going to look at getting a few more purebred hens and things so that we always have purebred to take even when i hatch out barnyard mix barnyard mix is kind of my favorite because you never know what they might look like so three but. ran out quick here comes some more Come on, guys, be free. Is there more in there? Hey, wake up. It's time to go back home. So we had a little bit of a hiccup. The vet we usually go to, it's called Prior Vet in Prior, Oklahoma. They uh, have a second location in Wagner called Prior Vet South. So I didn't know this, but they've recently been shutting down every other week on Saturdays at Pryor, and they send their customers to Wagner. So we are at stoplight, just turned green, and we're gonna take the cow over here. First time I've been here, but uh, apparently it's the same ownership, same same business, and we'll get them checked in and taken care of. All right, we made it to that back here, got checked in, and good news is the cow is still standing up. You made it on the ride, sister. I was worried about you. I was just worried about her and her ability to stand in that trailer on Highway 69, which is rough as can be. Hey, guys. We got a nice little calf crop this year, and uh, we're just going to get these girls vaccinated. Look at them white eyelashes. That's from the Hereford. Yeah, baby. Uh, hey, don't be biting me. I'm trying to bite. All right. You're all right, mama. We're gonna get you taken care of.
Now you see them come, they're coming ready to fight, aren't you, Mama? She says, my baby's in that trailer and I want it back. So you can see that the vet has much better equipment than I have. They have a squeeze chute that squeezes the cow, keeps her safe, turns her up on her side, and does a great job at keeping everybody uh, safe and has the ability to trim that hoof right up. I quit recording, there was a little bit of blood, they clipped the hoof, they, uh, they sealed it off um, with a, uh, a heat gun so it didn't have any, uh, any blood coming out, clotted it up for us, and Oh, it looks like looks like Cassie's leaving. I just pulled in and Cassie's got to leave. But they did an awesome job. So thankful that we have a vet in the area that um, knows what they're doing and I can take them there to get things like that taken care of. All your chickens taken care of? Yes, I put them all back up so you wouldn't have to. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah. you're all dressed up fancy Guess like. Guess what? What? We're going to a musical. Going to a musical? All right, well, you guys. Frozen one. All right, well, you guys have fun. In true Mazzy fashion, when I told her where we're going, she started crying with excitement because she's always dreamed of going to a musical. Um, and she even has her frozen clothes on. Did you know what? All right. Did you know what? Did you know what? Did you know what? All right, Daddy's going to end the video in a minute. You guys want to tell everybody bye? Bye. You guys have fun, okay? Bye, guys. So not only did we get the cow's hoof fixed up, but we also got every calf vaccinated and taken care of so we don't have uh, have to worry about vaccinating them. They're tagged, castrated, everything's good to go on the on the cows too. So let's go ahead and turn some, turn some out. All right, go on guys. There you go. Go on, baby. Hey, big dog. Don't be putting your head in any more panels, all right? Damn. Here they come, here they come. So this morning, this cow could barely walk. Look at her now. Go on. All right, so that's all. Oh. <laughs> all the mamas had to check on all the babies, make sure they're doing okay and they're doing great. So we wanna thank you guys so much for going along with us as we got the animals to the vet, Cassie got the chickens where they needed to go. And oh man, look at this trailer. Oh my, that's a mess. Well, I got good news. The good news is I think I got something that's gonna help out with this. I'm gonna save that for the next video. So before we end the video, I wanna remind you to go check out Ritual. They have the multivitamins that we take. They also have Symbiotic Plus, which is prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic. And if you need to make sure that you get all the nutrition, because if you have a full day like me, you're going to need it. So check out that code, uh, Walker20. Get 20% off your first month's order. And we thank you so much for following along. I hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.